Hello everyone, welcome to my lessons of Turkish learning. My name is Yasin Rak. I hope you are old and great. You know, all right now we we are going to learn today a kind of different uh, expressions and phrases spoken in Turkish. Uh, you may hear this in movies or series or from any native speakers of Turkish speaking people. Now, let's see here nine different expressions that you may hear from Turkish people. If you are ready, now let's go. All right, on the left side you will see English versions, on the right side you will see in Turkish versions. I hope it's it will be great, good lesson and don't forget to practice with me as well. This is all you can make good progress in pronunciation especially. All right, now let's go ahead. On the left, now let me start with English. Honey, I've come. I've come. So, let me repeat one more time. Honey, I've come. So, okay, in Turkish we see for this tatlım ben geldim. Tatlım ben geldim. So, for the someone that you love, honey, I've come. So, you could, as I said, you know, before, tatlım ben geldim. That's the expression you can use. All right, now let's see here next one. All right, uh, you tell someone, stay or leave, it's up to you. So, in that case, we say in Turkish, kal ya da git. Stay or leave. Kal ya da git. All right, now let's see here, next example. Another one is, do it or leave it. So, you tell someone, if you want to do it, do it. If you don't want to do it, don't leave it. And then leave it, don't do it. So, in that case, we say in Turkish, you know what? Like, like this, ya yap ya da bırak. Now, listen again. Ya yap ya da bırak. Ya yap ya da bırak. Well, Yasin, what's this first ya, you know, at the beginning of the example? Well, actually, if you know, uh, the same structure as in English. Either or. The structure of either, in that case, I say here ya. All right? So, that's why I put here ya. Ya yap, either do. That means either do, ya yap. Or ya da bırak. Leave it or leave that, whatever it is. Okay, now I hope this uh, little information also helps you to understand how it works. Now, you say, uh, you tell someone that you don't believe what they are doing. So, you say, come on, it can't be true. You know, I don't believe it. I don't buy it. In that case, so in Turkish, we say, hadia, hadia. Well, also, this can sound like the uh, surprise or something unexpected. Uh, that I was not expecting this to happen. So, in that case, you can use this short expression or phrase in Turkish. What is that? Hadiya. 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 All right. I have three times repeat this for you. I hope it helps. All right. Now, let's go more. For more. Now, that's enough. So, when you tell someone or something that it's more than that I could see or I could do or hear or whatever it is, you know, in that case, you may hear this from Turkish English speakers, that's enough or enough of enough is enough. For example, so in that case, you, it shows that you are angry. So in that case, you say in Turkish, olmaz bu kadar da, olmaz bu kadar da, olmaz bu kadar da. All right, olmaz bu kadar da. All right, so I feel like it's kind of necessary to explain how you use these structures, you know, in Turkish. Now, you too. Now, this actually literally the same as here in Turkish. Like you can say, sendemi, sendemi. The pronunciation and the toning sounds like this, sendemi. Send me. Well, this may sound like, how can I use this in Turkish? Well, it's very easy. Uh, like maybe, this is kind of a frustration or something that you don't expect someone to do this for you. Well, nobody believes you and even your best friend, even your husband doesn't believe you. So, you tell this to your husband, for example, or your wife or whatever, you know. Send them. Don't you believe me that too? I mean, don't you believe me too? So, in that case, send them. Don't, so, you too. So, send them. I hope it's, you know, more or less, you know, kind of enlightening exp uh, explanation for you. Uh, so, I just tried to do this for you. Send me. All right, now let's see next example. I was not expecting this or that. So, in that case, we say in Turkish, Bunu beklemiyordum. Bunu beklemiyordum. Bunu beklemiyordum. I was not expecting this or that. Bunu beklemiyordum. All right. So next example, let's see here. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? So in Turkish we say neden neden 
bunu yaptın. Neden bunu yaptın? Neden bunu yaptın? All right, now let's see here some more. So I think that's enough. Uh, maybe I used a similar uh, example to this, but also you can hear different uh, ways of saying this as well in Turkish. That's why I want to share this with you, which I think will help you to learn or to use actively. Yeter artık. Yeter artık. Well, actually, this sound, this expression sounds much stronger than the other one. You know, uh, yeter artık means enough. You know, if I can't stand it anymore or I can't put up with this anymore. So in that case, you say yeter artık. Yeter artık. You say too. Let me hear. Yeter artık. Good. All right. Now let's see next example. Well, this is another example. I'm fed up with your lies. So you heard a lot of lies from someone. So you want to show your uh, dissatisfaction that you have against that person. So you say, Bıktım yalanlarından. So in Turkish they say, Bıktım yalanlarından. Bıktım yalanlarından. Yalanlarından means from your lies. Okay, from your actual literal translation is from your lies. Well, in English you should say it depends on the structure or the verb that you use. So it may change. Bıktım yalanlarından. That means I'm fed up with your lies. So let's see. Okay, this is the last one I can teach you actually today. Um, in English, you know, this kind of old expression probably farewell. That means goodbye to you. Maybe we will not see you anymore. And then in that case, you can say Elveda. 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 All right. Farewell. All right. Now, well, this is enough. Well, actually, what about now? Uh, repeating this all, all together. Let's see examples. But I will say in Turkish, I hope it helps you remember uh, easier. Now, let's start from the beginning. Tatlım ben geldim. Tatlım ben geldim. Gel ya da git. Gel ya da git. Ya yap ya da bırak. Ya yap ya da bırak. Hadi ya. Olmaz bu kadar da. Olmaz bu kadar da. Sen de mi? Sen de mi? Sen de mi? Bunu beklemiyordum. Bunu beklemiyordum. Bunu beklemiyordum. Neden bana bunu yaptın? Neden bana bunu yaptın? Neden bana bunu yaptın? Artık yeter. Artık yeter. Bıktım yalanlarından. Bıktım yalanlarından. Now let's play a little short game. I will not waste your time. Don't worry about this. I just want to, you know, make it uh, in a fun way actually. If I hope this is my first time and I will try this for you. Now let's, uh, I will say in Turkish. So you will try to guess is in English what is that? What's that? What might that be actually? Let me sh start with the simple and short ones. Let's say here, send me, send me. What do you think it might be in English? Yes, you are right. You too. You too. All right, send me. This is a question form. Don't forget. Hadiya, hadiya. What's that in English? Good job. Come on. That means come on. If I say come on, you can also play this in another way. You know, I mean, you can do the opposite style, which means I say in English. You, you so you try to say this in Turkish. For example, I say come on. So you say hadiya. That's very good actually. If you have someone that you can practice Turkish with someone else, that's going to be very, you know, enjoyable game actually in kind of short time like 5 minutes or 10 minutes maximum. You won't get bored with this. So that's all I can share with you actually. This is a kind of one of the ways of enjoying your uh, Turkish learning. I hope it's been a good lesson for you. Well, I'm really sorry for not uploading, you know, uh, videos um, timely and I don't know. I don't have the motivation maybe for this at the moment. I will try to make it for you as long as as much as possible, you know, in a short time. If you have any request, please send me your request for Turkish learning uh, to my, you know, email address so I can make videos for you. All right. Thank you very much. Teşekkürler. Beni izlediğiniz için teşekkürler. Bir sonraki dersimizde görüşmek üzere. Hoşçakalın.